All right, that was very morbid. I don't know what sequence these videos will come out, but once I thought about like dead dogs and body bags, like it, it was just like a. So I took a break. And now I'm back. I don't know how I got into that topic, but yeah, it's a very, uh, very sad topic um, to even get. So in Houston, we don't we we have like one non kill shelter. But anyway, none none of that. Let's talk about the uh, bigger issue is. Did Watts Nicholas beat Anthony and Timepiece Gentleman? I feel bad for Anthony. I feel bad for the Timepiece Gentleman. And it's kind of crazy to say this because I don't think a lot of people do. And the reason I feel bad for him is his co-company seems to be falling apart. He lost Jimmy. Uh, he's no longer part of Dallas. And it sucks you know, to be kicked out of a company, of course. But those are your friends. Those are the people you spent a lot of time with. The Alfreds, the Vicks, the Sudden, I think Sudden's his brother, and the Trents and the Dillons. I mean, these are people who have been around your life for a long time. You moved to Los Angeles. It's Brian, who's relatively new. It's Liz and Darby, and that's it. You know, and then everyone else that you meet is new. And now you're dealing with the fallout of essentially your business. The Travis incident, which again has been well documented. Um, I mean, yeah, it's internet. The internet is very hateful sometimes. And if you give them that type of content, whew, uh, yeah, they're going to eat you alive. Uh, there's no other way to say it. The internet is the internet. And if you give trolls any content, they will just tear you to pieces if you care. Now, that being said, I, I do not like the fact that he doxed Watts Nicholas family, especially his family, and the Facebook thing, which I, I saw, um, I saw that, that was really bad. Um, and that is a line that was crossed, especially when you knew that those people who were not involved in this, in my opinion, would be getting hateful messages and death threats and so on from your subscribers because that was the whole point right of putting their facebook um on it uh, otherwise what would be the point of saying that nicholas has a a younger sister right i mean obviously it's because you want her to receive pictures that she probably does not would not like to receive um on the other hand, you know, I, I really look at it and I say, how do we fall from this? How do we get here? It's so astounding, right? Like pre-blackout, North set, you're just hanging out with Alfred. You know, Alfred drove all the way from Connecticut. You got a dedicated staff. It seems like you're selling watches. You're talking about profit. You're transparent. Um, you are having nice dinners. You're giving a watch. Marco it seems like you and Marco are really, really good friends. I think Los Angeles was just such a bad idea. And it was like one bad idea upon another bad idea, which was the blackout, which again, I will be the first one to say, I thought there was like some, hey, you know, producer Michael is now gonna give us double the subscribers. Kind of like what Steve will do it, did with timepiece trading. I thought there would be that type of relationship and you would have doubled your subscriber count from 100 to 200, just like, Timepiece Trading did. Uh, they went from zero to 140 to 250 and even higher. And hey, good on them, right? I mean, they figured it out. The one thing I would say that is really out there is you don't, if somebody's attacking you, someone's trolling you, someone's hating you, I hate to say this, but you, you have to be bigger than that. You have to take it. And that's what my original video said, that whatever happens, whatever Watch Nicholas does to you, you cannot respond by doxing his family. You cannot respond by Facebook. You cannot respond this way. It's just not appropriate for a business person, for an older person to respond this way to, at that point, a younger person. Um, it's... You know, I, I would love to say, hey, I support the timepiece gentleman, but there's no way I can say that. 
after what happened with the Facebook especially. Because when I saw the Facebook, the four images, the only reason you posted that was to bring hate onto people who don't deserve it. Those are just random people. They, you know, they're not, they're not family by choice, they're family by blood. And you don't even know what the relationship with, you know, how close he is with those individuals. Um, and maybe he's not close with them and that's why it doesn't affect them. Maybe it does affect them a lot, but uh, I would never want uh, even my worst enemy. And this is what we're coming down to is like, how would you treat your worst enemy? Right? There's things, you know, that you wouldn't even want for your worst enemy. And one thing would be, I wouldn't want his younger sister to get the messages I'm sure she has received. Um, I saw some of the um, comments and watched Nicholas's videos about, hey, give me your sister's number, hey, blah, blah, you know, it's, you know what's going to happen to this young lady. Why would you ever be part of that is, and I'm very disappointed. I, I didn't think he would ever cross that line, um, but the line has been crossed. It cannot be uncrossed, unfortunately. It's one of those things that, I mean, once you get past that line, you're past that line. There's no like going back. I mean, could watch Nicholas be nicer to you? Yes, he could be. Could watch Nicholas not make as many videos? <laughs> yes, he could make a few videos, right? But man, I mean, I, man, to, so the image I'm talking about isn't the actual, the docs docs, right? It's the four Facebook pictures. It has the young lady school that she attends to. It has like, I believe his mom and so on, maybe his dad. And it's just like, those people don't even know like who you are. They've never interacted with you. They're just like, wait, why are we getting a bunch of, you know, blank pictures? Like, why is my sister getting a bunch of blank pictures? Like, she's probably like, what the heck's going on? Like, when you have any subscribers, even one, you know, one of my favorite comments recently was, hey, it's hard to get one fan. You have no idea and no control over what your fans are going to do. They can do some very bad things. And I would not, I mean, it is, Even if you feel like he's destroying your business, he's destroyed your reputation, he's destroyed your life, be the bigger man. Take it. It sucks. I've been canceled twice. I know it sucks. But take it. Because the alternative is never worth it, right? The alternative of the Facebook and the doxing and the what seems like a bounty almost, I mean, I don't know how to explain the 5,000, 25,000, even the video, the, the threats of lawsuit and stuff. I mean, it is only gonna make him stronger. And you're gonna be the one who deletes all those videos. He's not gonna delete a single one of his videos, right? But you will delete your video. And that to me is, pretty much the proof is in the pudding of what's happening right now. I, I really did wish that you met someone earlier who could say no. I do believe you're surrounded by a bunch of yes men and women and you've never actually had a true partner who could say no and actually defend the no. I'm just thinking, you know, if I went into partnership with you, as soon as you doxed Watching it, I would I would tug away your phone. You would never sent the for Facebook. I would never allow that to happen. I would say, you know, whatever he's doing to our business, that that's fine. That's our business. Okay, we can respond as a business. We can respond as a bit. Okay, hey, you know, watch Nicholas. That's great. You know, continue to produce your videos. We wish you the best of luck, and we'll continue to grow ourselves. That was the proper response, in my opinion. Um, what was not proper was doxing and then the four pictures on Facebook and then the 5,000, 25,000 asking for his social security and medical records. I mean, man, I, 
I, is Tyler your lawyer? This, this has he told you like this is not right and this is so illegal? Not even I was gonna say semi illegal. I think it's just straight up illegal. <laughs> you know, I'm not a criminal lawyer, and I don't work in this field. I work in patents uh, and immigrations, but I don't know. I mean, I, again, I don't know. But my guess would be that yeah, it's just straight up illegal, right? It's just not even a kind of. So when you cross these gray lines and there is no return, I mean, it is, somebody should have took your phone away before you posted the four pictures and so on and where they went to school. Um, somebody should have took your phone away before you doxed. Um, again, I could see a logic saying, hey, okay, Watts Nicholas is a public figure too because he makes all these videos and he has so X amount of YouTube subscribers. And so I could see that, but I can't, I can never see why his sister would be a public figure. I can never see why his mom would be a public figure. I can never see where his dad would be a public figure. That, that's too much. Um, that, that's a line that I, I just cannot see. That's, you know, here's a line and you crossed it. Um, I'm having a hard time because I do like Anthony. Obviously, you, you know this on this channel. I just cannot support the behaviors he's had recently. Uh, and any aspect of it was bad. So I do wish Anthony gets some help and he does have, you know, people around him that can tell him no, or even just one really good partner who, when he's feeling mad, he can say, oh, Anthony looks really mad. I'm going to take away his phone. There are people for that. There are people whose jobs are when they see that their friend, you know, it's one of these Antonio Brown situations where if you truly are Antonio AB's friend, you're gonna, like Tom Brady was, in my opinion, you're gonna try it. You, I mean, the same with Chris Godwin and so on. You're gonna try, to, uh, Chris, uh, Mike Evans, you're gonna try to reason with him and make him stay. But then in the day, if he wants to act up and lose millions of dollars, what can you do? But at least he had, you know, the Mike Evans, you know, come to him and, you know, tell him, hey, settle down, calm down. And a lot of times when you surround yourself with yes men, you, all they are going to say is yes, but they don't have your best interest in mind. And as soon as you fail, as soon as you fall, they won't be around. They won't stick around. And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. So I do hope Anthony finds some real friends and those real friends can take away the phone next time and to prevent the escalation that obviously is bad for everybody. Bye guys.